Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance reading for January to February 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. It's mainly tarot reading uh, with an oracle card at the end, Aries. So what do we have for Aries please, Angel Spirits Guides? Thank you, card is there. Two of Wands which is an Aries energy, Mars in Aries. Okay, so I'm gonna pull three cards, Aries. The first card is the issue or challenge in love that you face, January to February, 2021. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. So we have the Four of Cups. The Advice from Spirit, we have the Ten of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aries. Thank you. In terms of love, romance, relationships, angel spirits, guides, and it will be from January to February 2021. Thank you. What do we have for our lovely Aries? Thank you. Message for Aries in terms of love, romance, relationships. Thank you. So we have the seven of wands. The nine of swords. clarifies the ten of wands and the star that's beautiful is the nine of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the tower aries there the message the overarching energy is a card of choice the two of wands is a card of being at a crossroads and then the being in an empowered position i mean remember the two of wands is fire energy so it's somebody who wants to take action, somebody who wants to choose the path now, somebody who has two paths available and they want to make some empowered choice or decision about their future, how they make progress in a situation, which direction they're going to go. So it feels that there are definitely two paths available and there's a message of now is the time to make the choice, choose wisely. Um, but, you know, both of these ones promise growth, promise the, pro, both of these ones have opportunity and potential. It feels in this situation, it's what you see in your future, what you take, what, what you want to take a chance on, what you want to go with now. Um, definitely feels in this energy some decision about your future or how you're, you're moving forward. Because this Four of Cups... It can be a card of giving some deep thought to a situation. And again, the universe is giving you some illumination, giving you the divine nudge. This is the way that you need to go. This is the, the direction that you need to take. So for some of you, that might well be the case. Um, can also be a card of apathy, boredom, stagnation. Yeah. So you might feel that in a relationship, which is why maybe there is some kind of choice or decision that you want to make about your future. Because the Seven of Wands is a card of challenge, being challenged by something. Now, it could well be boredom or apathy or going within and really giving some deep thought to how you overcome some kind of challenge that you're seeing in your world as a result of it feels like love, romance, a relationship. I mean, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands can be a card of someone challenging you. It can be also a card of, of, do I persevere with this any longer? You know, it's this kind of energy. Is it worth me persevering? The Nine of Swords is... An energy, it's Mars energy in Gemini. So there's definitely an energy of this is when you're so much in your own head, you focus on the negative and it's bad, things spiral out of control. It causes anxiety, stress, upset, sleepless nights, worry. So it feels like something has is, is a burden. Something is 
a heavy burden to bear and it feels like something is built up over a long it feels like a, a period of time here with the ten of wands and there's just an energy of now is the time you're giving some deep thought to a situation because it's become almost kind of like it's got to that point where you need to deal with it it feels like like the straw that breaks the camel's back you know it feels like something's caused your stress anxiety worry or someone's getting in your own head maybe um yeah nine of swords it definitely feels in this kind of energy this can be about worry anxiety stress feeling down and it's to do with this burden it's to do with something is it worth me persevering do i continue to take action in this and it feels like you're you're weighing things up because there's definitely an energy of stress i mean i don't know if it's mind games here but it's definitely someone's in your own head as well or something's causing you this negative energy as well here in your own mind the swords is to do with our minds our perceptions how we see something um you know our thought patterns and it feels like there's a negative energy here that's very destructive um it's just getting to that point where you're like okay i want to deal with this i want to make some kind of empowered choice or decision here because it's too much to bear now it's it feels like something's happening straw that breaks the camel's back and that's what i'm getting Interestingly enough, oh, <laughs> yeah, Ace of Cups with the Tower. So <laughs> the Tower is a Mars energy. This is that destructive energy of Mars in your internal space. And this is, it feels like I'm done with it. You know, it feels like in this situation, um, I need to deal with the situation. I need to. I need to make some clear choices about my future because I want happiness. And this tower energy, it feels this is you. Now, the tower can be things beyond our control, can be about truth, revelation. But it feels in this energy area as you're tearing down the old. It feels in this situation, you're ready to tear down the old. You're ready to bring change to your situation because this square tower and that round crown, something doesn't fit anymore. And there's definitely this energy with the Ace of Cups of you want happiness, you want love, and it feels like new love. This can also be a card of self-love. But it feels in this situation, change needs to happen for you to find happiness. And the Nine of Pentacles, and certainly the Ace of Cups, I have to say the Ace of Cups is self-love or new love coming into you. Can be new love coming into you. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy of somebody who is self, it's a self-sustaining energy. It's an independent energy as well. Sometimes this is the single card. You know, I'm happy on my own. I stand in my own abundance, my own self-worth, my own security and my own solidity. You know, it's that kind of energy, you know, of self-worth, self-esteem, um, self-abundance. You know, there's an abundant material success energy to this, very good in terms of business and career as well, which might well be your way your focus lies too, Aries. Um, but it, it feels in this situation... Something just is testing you. Something is testing you. This is a testing energy. And again, there is the message here that whatever that tower was, interestingly enough, the tower comes before the star in the major arcana, where there's destruction of the old, where the old is torn down, it's liberation. And again, I'm getting that sense you want to be free. There's a liberating energy. You see all the fire coming out of that tower. There's an energy of you want to be free. Because the star is a sense of self-renewal, new hope. You're on the right path, you know? It's that kind of energy of you're being given divine blessings. 
throughout this time you're being watched over by divine energy and there's definitely this energy with that yellow star you're being asked to shine in your own individual light amongst all the white ones um so this is about you embracing your individuality as well this is about you embracing who you, who you are this is almost like something is too much something happens here it's already been challenging and then something happens which adds to the burden where you get so much in you know your own head and there's definitely this energy of okay i just need to get perspective i need to take control of the situation i need to take some kind of charge and really make a decision on what's right for me what do i want and what don't i want now and it feels that i i feel this with this with this tower you are engineering this change it definitely feels in this situation it is definitely some kind of change for the better because it's leading to the ace of cups but it definitely feels in this situation you're making some clear decision about your future and if you see this relationship in your future so i'm gonna pull a final card like i said it won't resonate for everybody so just take what resonates with you Final message for Aries in love, romance, relationships, please, angel spirits, guides. Thank you. Yeah, you see, I can't believe this came out. We have panther protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Wow. Because there's definitely an energy of you stepping into your truth. And the truth of the situation will become clear. The star is a liberating energy as well. So it definitely feels in this situation, Aries, something happens, it's the last straw, you know? And it definitely feels in this situation, you're making some empowered choice decision about which way you want to go. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.